Dr. Phillips, I wonder if you could describe for us what are really the essential parts of managing nutrition in patients with chronic pancreatitis? Thank you so much, Dr. Forsmark. That's an excellent question. The most important thing is for the patient and the provider to come together in agreement actually about what a sustainable, feasible nutritional plan is for that individual patient. The truth is, is that every chronic pancreatitis patient is slightly different. And so nutrition plans often need to be as individualized as possible. Essential elements, though, of nutrition management in chronic pancreatitis include the foundation of ceasing all alcohol and tobacco use, since those can exacerbate chronic pancreatitis or make it progress. And then the most frequent recommendation is actually to maintain a low-fat diet. The thought behind this is that fat in the stomach triggers the pancreas to secrete digestive enzymes in its normal state. And in the setting of chronic pancreatitis, this can sometimes exacerbate episodes of pain or even trigger an episode of acute on chronic pancreatitis. And so it's important for patients to try and maintain a low fat diet as much as they are able to. The additional parts of dietary management uh, for chronic pancreatitis patients are to also maintain a balanced diet uh, with adequate vitamins and minerals in it in order to avoid complications of malnutrition, things like osteoporosis or the development of diabetes down the, down the line. The things to avoid in chronic pancreatitis with a good diet are development of diabetes, or hyperglycemia, also avoid unsustainable weight loss or muscle mass deterioration. It's important for chronic pancreatitis patients to maintain a little bit of reserves with good dietary management because there may be periods where they're not able to take in as much. And so this allows for them to have um, a little bit uh, of reserve uh, for, for any of those periods. Thank you. I think I just reinforced that's really a critical point is that we're talking about patients becoming malnourished because their pancreas doesn't make enough digestive enzymes. But another important aspect is that when patients are in a lot of pain with an acute flare, they just can't eat. And so this idea of having a little bit of reserve that you can draw on when you get a severe painful flare and you can't eat is really an important thing for patients to, to think about.